I think just because of the nature of the show, because it's like a mystical world that we're trying to create, that we've amassed so much like costume pieces and sets and props throughout the years that I keep thinking like, oh no, this year we're not going to have to do that much because we have it all. Um, but this year the show was just so different that we had to build everything. And so then it just seemed never ending. Well, you can see. If I were to go home tonight and watch a movie like Hercules or Tarzan, like Toy Story, you know, those are all movies that make an impact on you as a little kid. And I know we're having the matinee for little kids who are probably just getting into some of these movies now or, you know, look up to these characters still. And so for like on one on one hand, you have those kids that you want to be like, oh, my gosh, like that's them. I see them like in real person, like it's there and it makes it more personable. And then for kind of the older high school students for them to think like yeah you know like that's that's the show like that's the movie that I used to love all the time they did a really good job I believed it you know I really loved the music and I hope that yeah like I said they take away the same feeling as if they were just gone and seen the movie I feel like this play is or sorry this musical is a work of art it's not just people acting people singing there's the amount of effort and time and timing we have with this musical, it's something that I feel like people should, after curtains go down, they should hopefully be feeling like, wow, I'm speechless. With the costuming and the props and the sets, just because you're trying to create that um, that new world and really bring it alive for the audience um, that you can't just use like 1920s costumes or like era costumes like that you have to kind of come up with creative ways of portraying a mermaid tale. The most different thing is probably costumes because we have a lot of characters rolling on the ground and jumping so hats during jumps they could fall off and then a lot of the stitches had to be a lot more stable, so we did a lot more work with sewing machines versus hand stitching. It's definitely a lot more, so it's more of the quantity, and also because it's such a beloved story, you have to follow a certain guideline, which is gonna kind of be like, okay, if we can't put make flounder pink, so we had to make sure that we had, you know, they're in the right colors and all the color symbolism lines up and all that kind of stuff. So that has been a huge change. And also just the amount of characters. Like, I don't know, there's probably something like 30 characters in this play and we wanted to make sure that everyone really felt special and like they're their own character. And that was one of my biggest goals is I wanted to make sure that everyone felt comfortable in their costumes and with their hair and everything like that. Taking up the most time has definitely been sets. It's been an amazing and super fun experience, but we have so many elaborate and awesome sets in this play. Um, so for example, we made a boat, which took forever, and we made a bunch of thrones and a bunch of different, like, you know, little props and stuff like that, so that took up a huge amount of time. I'm hoping that everyone is able just to see how much work goes into it. Everything we have done is original, in truly just a high school play, everyone's put their work into it, including the actors. I hope you understand how much time and effort we did, like we put into doing those stuff, because we did most of the stuff by hand. So I really hope they appreciate that, <laughs> and that they love it, because we put our heart and soul into it. I had the pleasure this year to help out with the production backstage a lot, helping with building costumes and sets and such and helping out with that, and that's really been fantastic. I really found, you know, a lot of you know, connections and a lot of entertainment out of that. I think for me, the most fun part of it has just been getting to watch all the actors kind of come into their own, which was so cool, because you see, you know, they are all kind of separate at the beginning, and they bond through singing, and they bond through acting, and just getting to watch that has been so magical and amazing, and it was definitely my favorite part of stage managing and just being a part of this whole process. Yeah, it's a lot of work in itself. Just as you add in the music, you have to add in other visuals that you wouldn't normally have in a regular play. So it in involves a lot more like coordination between people as well as uh, ideas from directors as to specific things to do. So I'm always at the acting rehearsals and then uh, the singing rehearsals take up quite a lot of time too because they're longer. So I think both have just like an even amount of taking up a lot of my time. I guess it's, you know, trying to find the rhythm not only you know, with the songs, 
but also with the boat. The first song we ever worked on was the finale, because it's a big song, it's where everyone's singing at the same time, and there's, God, I think at one point, seven different harmonies going on. And like I said, I think there might be two trained singers, no, three trained singers in the whole cast. And I love that like some of the performers this year who have like blown me away have never been involved in drama before. And so that was something really cool that uh, developed from the music. Because I had never taken drama, never spent time with like literally the drama kids in the school, like they're absolutely nuts. And I've never like been around so many like creative, like constantly excited people. <laughs> My favorite thing about every single production I've ever been in is getting to know the cast. Like you spend so much time together and you just like, it's, it's so cheesy to say it, but you become this little family and it's super fun when you're on stage. Like at the beginning, everyone's really awkward around each other. And when you're trying to learn your lines, everyone's scared that they're gonna mess up. And then once everyone kind of gets to know each other, it flows really nicely and it is really satisfying. I feel that The Little Mermaid is about dreams coming true and getting what you really want in life. I think it's very much just a play about, you know, not two people conflicting, but one person trying to pull together. I think it has a lot to do with, like, regardless of what other people tell you, especially the ones that you, like, love the most because they know who you are. There are still other things that you can do um, and you can still follow your heart and like find a way to be happy even though in your present situation it might be really difficult to see. I think it's basically just like finding your true self kind of. Ultimately I think it's about acceptance deep down and then I also like that it does have despite it being like a mystical plot that it has reality built into it. Like I like the fact that like teenage rebellion against Triton is so realistic and something that high school students can definitely relate to. I think it's finding yourself and who you are and who you want to be. Almost all the main characters in the story are basically trying to find themselves. So like I feel like by the end most accomplished that. <laughs>